For more updates, click on subscribe and click on bell button for latest notifications. Hi friends, uh, welcome to Tech ARK IT YouTube channel. My name is Ravi. Uh, in this video session, we are going to see that how we can do a parallel zzip compression. So, so every day I will get around uh, 500 GB, 600 GB, something like that. Uh, example, uh, I'm saying here. So here. Uh, in this I am just getting the data something like this so okay so here in this folder I will get around uh, 600 to 700 GB so every day like that so there is a one folder in that I will get some data so if I want to do a zip of them or tor of that file or that folder uh, as a single uh, folder then using the tar command example say the tar command so which approximately takes uh, for 600 to 700 GB so it takes around uh, 5 hours to 6 hours okay more than that so sometimes 8 9 hours also it takes to compress that uh, entire GB in a say, single file but whereas I have a system course here if I can show you so here you can see that I have four cores but when I run a, a tar command which does not use a entire course so it only use a single core or the single CPU at the same time uh, it takes a lot of time like eight to nine hours to compress that much of GB file but here I wanted to optimize that process so I have a system which is dedicated for taking that system as a, a backup or a doing a compression then I wanted to use the entire CPUs and compress uh, the data faster okay let's example go ahead and see here how we can do that so what is the difference here so here I have a, a base OS so this is uh, just example I would like to create CV uh, Z maybe CJF so and uh, base OS dot ta dot ZZ so I just want I am just using this one so there is no maybe I, I would not use any compression here so let's do a use a time here to evaluate the uh, this directory as a time so I'm just doing this entire directory as a compression so how much time it takes around it's a, uh, it has a 747 MB so you can see that 7.24 seconds okay so if if you are doing this way so it is little not faster but if I wanted to do a similar way so I wanted to do a tar compression okay so how we can do that so here I'm using the similar one but uh, I just use a um, command called pig z and output is going to be a this way base os pig z dot dot so uh, here what it will do is that it will little this compress and use the entire um, processes like all the uh, CPUs at the same same time so I'm just using the tab command over here and press 1 so and I just go ahead and run this command here and uh, it, it it will be little quick you can see this 10 percent 80 so the pig is using the 389 379 380 percentage okay so the command is done you can see this the compression ratio is 11 seconds so which is not exactly this one but which is has a compression little bit more okay so but you can compare the file sizes where um, it basically this one you can see that 842 you can see this 900 MB so which is little bit compressed but if you are really using a compression or the tar file 
which make difference so a lot of difference here you can see this uh, i did not add any compression on here but if i enable this compression here it would be slow like not exactly there so it would be you can see this uh, the cpu utilization here you can see this so single cpu till single cpu is utilized for the gzip compression you can see this the percentage of the cpu is 99 percent you can see this so most of the times any one of the single cpu is used but remaining cpu costs are sitting idle so which means that it not utilizing the entire resource uh, again that tar command does not have that capability so that you can use this pzip command so you can see this 39 seconds so with the compression with the 39 seconds but this one is um, compression with the compression so it has a 11 second so that is the difference if you wanted to compress a larger files make use of the system utilization in a parallel manner so you can use um, this big z utility so how you can install that it's simple uh, you have a able repository you have to configure then say install and pick z so it, it, it will be installed so otherwise if if you want to install this pick g you have to download that from the uh, internet the packages and just make uh, uh, just make to have compile that and uh, after that compiling you will just find out an epic z uh, file that you have to copy that file to the slash usr bin or slash bin so that uh, the pig command pig z command would be uh, available so this way so what you can do if you want to uh, do a parallel compression so like that uh, i wanted to do a compress and delete the existing files or compress or leave the files um, example if i go here on the base so there are some data so here in the packages there are some packages so i wanted to zip all of them parallelly so what you can do is that simply do a pick z though this is the command so you can just you use that one and iphone iphone best compression i want and i don't want to delete the existing files so just run this command so the current directory all the rpms will be compressed and it will keep one more file as an a zz file so let's find out the directory here r and packages and it will do a, all the packages uh, tar.czip and you can see this top utilization you can see all the cpus are utilized parallelly so you can see this so this way what happens here is the compression is going to be run in a parallel way that's why it gives you a best performance whenever you wanted to do a large files or the large directories compression on the system okay but you can see this so you can go to packages directory and see this all the files has a zz file which is a compressed file which is a virtual file because i say here on the command i found k so k in the sense keep that file and do not delete the virtual file so that's what it says so this way what happens if you remove iphone k so it will compress the files and delete the original file and it only keeps the gzip file so that's the uh, funda here uh, what i'm going to do here is that i'm just going to delete uh, rpm files so all the rpm files from here and all the rpm files has been deleted i wanted to extract them so simply i wanted to extract using the iphone d command okay and recursively do that directory so packages enter so it says that you want to overwrite everything so it will ask for each and every file which is already exist so you can see this it's going to decompress now you can go to that uh, packages and see that there is the rpm files virginal rpm files so this is the way you can just compress all the files or decompress in a single command and with the faster mechanism so like if you have a, a cpus and ram so that makes lot of difference in the compression so 
here let, there are a lot of commands uh, as well if you wanted to uh, use along with the uh, tar command you can use it or if you want to use a single pig's head you can use it but the pig's head directly does not support compressing the directory itself it only supports to compress the files directly not the directory so that is the uh, maybe a drawback or a feature but if you wanted to along combine along with the tar command or zip command or any command you can use that to pipe or maybe you can use find command or something like that to pipe that all the files into a single uh, the directories to the single uh, zip file something like that you can use along with the other commands as well so that is what the parallel zzip do to but whenever you are uncompressing the data so which is not exactly a parallel mechanism it's going to use a single um, core or the single cpu for that so that's the about it guys this video thanks for watching stay tuned if you have a more comments on this uh, like how you can do a others uh, parallel zip mechanisms so you can comment on this video thanks for watching stay tuned please subscribe to the channel for more upcoming videos and uh, courses please follow us on social networking site uh, one is uh, facebook the facebook page name is uh, it linux arkit uh, you can click on this button here and click like page so that you can follow us on facebook the next one is instagram uh, instagram name page name is arkit.co.in click on follow button to follow me and uh, twitter if you have any questions on uh, subject line or if you have anything you can just tweet me at a ravikumar48 so i will reply you most on the tweet back for anything related if you want the latest articles on my website so here is my website details and email address details you can reach me over here